Have you ever wondered how dark the universe really is? We often picture space as a pitch black, but in reality, it's filled with the faintest light, light from every galaxy that has ever existed. This faint light is what we call the cosmic optical background, or COB. So just how dark is it? Well, let's put it in perspective. If you were standing in a remote place on Earth under a clear night sky, you'd still be surrounded by more light than the entire universe emits beyond our galaxy. Recent measurements from the New Horizons spacecraft detected the cosmic optical background at around 11.16 nanowatts per meter squared per SR which is about 20 to 30 times dimmer than the darkest place you can imagine on Earth. Imagine being in a cabin on a dark, moonless night and seeing the faint glow from a fridge light more than a kilometer away. That's how faint the light of the universe, the scattered light is. But why does this even matter? Well, one of the ways scientists have been able to study the universe's history is by looking at different types of background radiation. You've probably heard of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the faint glow left over from the Big Bang. It shows us what the universe looked like when it was only 3,079,000 years old. But the cosmic optical background gives us a different view. It's a record of the universe since the first galaxies and stars formed and started emitting light. It tells us how much light all of these galaxies emit cumulatively, even those too faint to see individually. And here's what makes this new discovery so significant. For years, astronomers had trouble measuring the cosmic optical background because Earth's atmosphere and light from the sun get in the way. Even space telescopes like Hubble couldn't escape this interference. But now, New Horizons, out at 58 astronomical units away from the sun, is in complete darkness. And thanks to its instrument called LORI, a powerful telescope with a very sensitive camera, we finally have an accurate measurement of the cosmic optical background, free from interference. So what did the scientists find? The majority the majority of the cosmic optical background, about 8.17 nanowatts per meter squared per SR, comes from known galaxies. But here's where it gets interesting. There's a small amount of extra light, about 2.9, <laughs> these, these units, man, nanowatts per meter squared per SR that don't seem to come from galaxies we know about. Very interesting. Early studies suggested that this leftover light might mean that there are hidden sources of light in the universe, which would be pretty freaking awesome because it means more mysteries for me. Maybe even something exotic we haven't discovered yet. But now, this new analysis shows us that this anomalous light isn't statistically significant. In simpler terms, it's likely that all of the cosmic optical background, all the light that came from all the galaxies of everything, can just be explained by galaxies alone. And that's that's really the big takeaway. While it might sound less exciting to say there are no mysterious unknown sources of light, visible light, it's actually a huge win for understanding the universe. It means our models about galaxy formation and evolution are, are incredibly accurate. It confirms that galaxies are the main contributors to light of the universe, just as predicted. But here's the thing, there's still a tiny bit of that anomalous light we can't fully explain. Previous measurements detected double the amount of cosmic optical background than what we're seeing now. Could these earlier methods have been inaccurate? Possibly. For now, the universe seems to be behaving exactly as we expected. So why is this just so important? Well, the cosmic optical background is more than just a faint glow. It's a benchmark for understanding the universe's structure, how stars and galaxies formed, and how they evolved over billions of years. By measuring it accurately, we can now say with more certainty than ever before that the universe, as vast and complex as it is, fits the models scientists have been building for decades. And who knows, as we continue observing and refining our techniques, we might still uncover new surprises in this faint light. Because in the universe, even the smallest anomaly could unlock the next big discovery.